Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be unboxing this uh, budget uh, dash cam and it is currently available for sale in the various marketplaces out there. It is a dash cam that features HD DVR. It's got a wide view angle, G sensor, motion detection, HDMI connectivity, as well as a 2.7 inch display. So looking here at the other side of the box, so it's got the same features on the other side here, nothing really to show. It's got an illustration of what it looks like. And this is it in terms of the box. Before we go on with the unboxing, if you do enjoy our videos, please do hit that like button and please do subscribe to our channel. So let's go on then with the unboxing. So opening the box right over here, we've got the dash cam right here. What else have we got inside? We've got the power cable so this connects to your cigarette lighter we've got a windshield uh, mount and we've got the uh, instruction manual that comes in chinese as well as in english of course you can change the uh, language on the uh, dash cam and it has various other options so let's get this out of the way for now and let's have a quick look here into the camera so this is what the camera looks like so at the front here we've got the lcd display on the top, we've got a, a back and forward button. We've got a mode button, an OK button, as well as a menu button. We also have a power button right over here and an LED indicator here for the recording status. On the other side, we've got the front facing lens. We've got the front facing sensors. There is a speaker. Looking here at the bottom, we've got the power connector right there. On the side, we've got an SD card slot as well as the microphone. This camera has here a 32 gigabytes SD card already that comes with the camera. Okay. And this is it in terms of the camera, what it looks like on the outside. Let's go set this up in my car. We're going to test and have a look at the quality and some, uh, we will go through the menu and other features of the camera. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so in my car now, I have uh, now connected the camera to the power source, which is a cigarette lighter. And as soon as you connect, um, it starts recording automatically, so you don't have to press the record button. I'm gonna fix the mount here in the windshield as well, so it's uh, secure. And we're gonna go for a ride and test this out. Before we start our journey, just wanna click on OK, so it stops recording and let's access the menu. So accessing the menu here, you can set out the quality of the recording. In this case, it's at uh, 1080p, which is the highest. But what I want to do right now here on the menu is go down here to the screen saver, which is off. And I want to turn this on and I want to turn the screen screen saver on because while I'm driving, I don't want the image to come up on the screen because it's a bit distracting. So I am going to set this to one minute and click here on OK. So it's set to one minute and then I am going now to exit um, and I'm going to press the menu button again. So it goes on to the next menu and I want to format the SD card. So here I select the format and then I'm going to execute. Please wait, as you can see and that is now done so the sd card is formatted so i'm starting fresh out here um i've got the version i've got some um, usb uh, connection so if i want to connect it to a computer i can select it as disk drive so i can transfer the data over to a computer or i can just remove the sd card i can also have the uh, data input light frequency system reset if i want to reset to default or to power off if i want the camera to still be on for a few minutes before it shuts down completely here i can change the language as well so if i press on the menu again here it takes me back to that uh, previous menu and here i've got the time the screensaver as i mentioned voice record which is on so it records the voice as well I've got the video time set to five minutes. It will basically 
loop record for five minutes and then create another file motion detection is off you can turn that on if you want your camera to record any uh, motion detection and you've got the time stamp as well uh, in this case i'm just going to select it to off um, but it, it is good sometimes to have the um, uh, the timestamp on so it records the time on your um, dash cam so i'm going to fix the mount here on the windshield and let's go for a ride Take the next right to stay on Longfellow Road, then turn left onto Shelley Road. Take the next left onto Shelley Road. Continue on Shelley Road for half a mile. In 800 feet, turn right onto Stanwell Way. Turn right onto Stanwell Way. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Northampton Road, A5128. Turn right onto Northampton Road, A5128. In 800 feet, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Main Road, A4500.
continue on will be way for half a mile.